Hello Ratbags, it's Jade. Welcome to a special little guide today on Minecraft Bedrock Edition on PlayStation 4. I'm going to be giving you everything you need to know. How to connect cross-platform, how to set up your Microsoft account, and what's the difference between PlayStation tokens and Minecraft coins. I'm also going to give you information about the servers and everything else about the brand new updated version finally appearing on PlayStation. So it's now exactly the same as Xbox and Windows 10. Now I don't really cover Minecraft that much anymore, but back in the day, Minecraft was some of the first videos and content that got me hundreds of views. So it's still one of my favorite games of all time. And I saw definitely a need for this being explained because I got so many questions and comments on the last video telling you guys about the update coming. So make sure you like this video. If you do want to see me play some Minecraft, go and follow me on Mixer. Link for that will be in the description box and the comment section. And that's where I'll be playing more games like Minecraft soon. Okay, first off, you've got to link your Microsoft account if you want to get the full suite of items and things that you can do in Minecraft, i.e. play with your friends. This is the only way that you can play cross-platform with your Xbox friends or your other friends on other platforms. It's pretty clear, you can see the green box on the left, sign in with a Microsoft account. If you have Minecraft on any other platform like Windows 10 or Xbox or Nintendo Switch and you did set up a Minecraft account for that one, make sure you link it. Follow what it says here, put this into a Google search on your phone or your app, and then follow and put in the code. You have to do it pretty quickly, but I'm gonna show you that as well. Now, if you're having trouble finding the actual website, go to this one instead, help Minecraft and US articles. In fact, I'm gonna leave this in the comment section so you can check it out for yourself. It gives all the details why you have to connect your PS4 account to a Microsoft account. This is the only way that you can play with friends on mobile or Nintendo Switch or other platforms. Here you'll actually find a link that will give you the connection proper. Open it up in a new tab and put the code in that appears on the PlayStation. Once you've done that, it'll ask you to sign in with your Microsoft account. So remember, you've got to have your Microsoft account that's linked to your other platforms. If you've never had a Microsoft account, but you do just want to play with your friends on Xbox, Create a Microsoft account separately and just make sure that you obviously link it in here. Once you put the code in, you sign into your brand new Microsoft account. Remember I said you have to do it quickly. Sometimes it times out and so you're going to have to get a new code from the PlayStation 4 Minecraft version. As soon as you put that code in and as soon as you've put, logged into your proper account, you're pretty much good to go and you'll be able to play with your friends. And if you really need help working out how to make an Xbox account, just simply type it in Google, sign into any one of the pages that says, yep, yeah, create one, and just create a brand new one. The benefit of signing in with an old Microsoft account is if you ever bought anything on mobile, if you ever bought any content like DLC packs or skins, maybe on the Switch or Xbox, that should all be playable on the PlayStation 4 and the other way around too. If you've got any skin packs on the PlayStation 4, the majority of them will now be able to be played on any other device. So maybe you don't want to play with other friends across platforms. Maybe it's just a case of you once had a PlayStation 4, you bought a bunch of content on it, but then you switch consoles and you didn't really want to have to pay again for all that content. Now you don't have to worry, it all transfers over for free. On this page of facts and questions, you'll notice as well that servers will be coming, but they're not right there yet. So if you want to play on big servers with all your friends, with lots more players than just the standard, that's going to be coming, but in the future. You don't have to have a Microsoft account if you're quite happy not to play with people across platforms and you're not bothered about accessing any other content you may have purchased or bought with any other platforms. You can go ahead and just carry on playing on the PlayStation 4 on its own. Do note though that once you link that Microsoft account, you can unlink it. And if you really love just the old school PlayStation 4 edition of Minecraft, you can still play it. It is available. Initially, I thought they said it wasn't going to be available, but you can still play it. But you have to log into the new version and it will give you an option. You can see it right there. It says additions. That's how you log in. Just remember that version is no longer going to be supported. It's not going to get any more updates in the future or no extra content. Only this Bedrock edition is going to get more content. So you've signed in, I'm going to explain the store in a second, but let's take a look at what happens when you click play. You'll be able to see your friends on the PlayStation Network here listed. And then if you've connected it completely, you should see underneath all the cross-platform friends too. 
If you don't see any friends on your list from other platforms, make sure you've signed in into the correct Microsoft account. Once you've done that, as I'm showing in game, you can now see I've got all my PlayStation friends, but I've also got my other platform friends there as well. I'm pretty certain as well as Xbox, obviously if it's Nintendo Switch or it's iOS or Android, you still need a Microsoft account for them to connect with players on their platforms as well. Now, because of the way that different platforms have different party options, I haven't yet come across a way to talk to other players. I've not really tested it thoroughly enough to see if there is a way. So if you do know how to talk to other players cross-platform, please leave it in the comment section down below. But since I've not been able to find any information on that, I think it's probably not there just yet. So you've got create new world, you've got friends, you've got servers. The servers will be coming. They're going to be the realm servers that you can rent. And some of them offer content alongside it. You can get like bumper packages that give you mods. Now, if you've been excited about mods coming to PlayStation, it's great, there are some really cool ones, there's lots of different maps, there's lots of different things you can do, but if you're expecting the type of mods you've seen on PC like IRL, Minecraft, or Tekkit, you're gonna be disappointed. You're not gonna be able to play them types of mods. These are all mods that have been put through the Microsoft system, and most of them are just reskins or additions, creative builds that have made mini games out of. You'll also see in the top there, it says JPG's packs. That's where you'll find all of your previously bought content. Nearly all content crosses over. They've said in their terms and conditions that some content may not cross over, but they'll let you know. So if you're gonna be buying any content on the PlayStation 4 with PSN tokens, do double check that that content can be used on other devices. Like I said, most of it is, but they have said that some of it won't. Likewise, there is some content possibly on the Bedrock Edition on other platforms that hasn't fully crossed over. And some of these might be things like specific skin packs for platforms. Imagine like a PlayStation celebration pack or an Xbox celebration pack. It looks like they are not available across platforms. Now, why have they chosen tokens instead of just using Minecoins? If you don't know, Minecoins are exactly the stuff that they use on all the other platforms. So why isn't it exactly the same? Well, it looks like PlayStation probably charge a little bit percentage-wise for the tokens. So Microsoft don't want to necessarily confuse things massively. So they just created a new currency so they can give PlayStation Network a tiny bit of the cut of every single pack sold, and it doesn't impact any of their sales data for Minecoins. But mine coins and tokens are exactly the same thing really, except a crucial difference. If you do buy any tokens, you cannot use them tokens on other devices. So say you buy a thousand tokens, you decide you've found a mod or a game mode you like on your phone, you can't buy the game mode on your phone, you have to go back to your PlayStation, buy it on your PlayStation. Once you've got the content, it doesn't matter, you will be able to play that across any device, but you can't transfer any Minecraft tokens over to other devices. And likewise, you can't use any mine coins to buy content on the PlayStation Network. It has to be the tokens. It may take a bit longer, but I suggest that if you ever decide to buy any content, you actually don't buy it with the PlayStation tokens. You actually log into your Microsoft account on the web or on another platform and you buy Minecoins because they are shared across all of their devices, Android and stuff. It means that if there's any problems or changes in the future, you're more future proof. Whereas if you buy PlayStation tokens, you never know. Maybe PlayStation and Microsoft might have a fallout and they'll stop supporting something in the future. The PlayStation tokens pretty much give you a surplus sometimes. You can't just buy a mod for exact real money. You have to buy packs or you have to buy a bundle of coins or tokens, and then you always end up getting a bit left over. It's a bit of a scummy way to do it. I think I would have preferred it if you could just buy the mod exactly for the money, but it's pretty much the same in Fortnite and other games. That's how you have to do it. Once you've bought them, obviously it will be in your packs and you can mix and match stuff up. You can have skins. And of course, the biggest news as well is that you've got your own custom skin maker now on the PlayStation 4. You can create your own skins just like you can on the other platforms. But there is a lot of content with that that is locked off until you actually buy some tokens. You can see right now I'm showing you exactly how to edit your character and create your own custom Minecraft skin. It's really good, it's just a shame it's not exactly like it used to be an old school PC where you could do literally pixel by pixel. It's still presets, so you can change your hair, you can change your smile, you can change your facial hair, you can change some clothing, but a lot of the clothing is what costs additional money. 
Once you're done with your monstrosity, you can go ahead and use that avatar in any of your mini games or any of your content alongside whatever else it offers when you've bought whatever mod it is. Last thing I'll add about trying to find a friend is make sure if you are using their Microsoft Gamer Tag, not just their Microsoft name or any other variation, they have to have created a Microsoft Gamer Tag. So if they're on Nintendo Switch or Android or iOS, they must have that Microsoft Gamer Tag for you to find them. You can't just add someone who's changed their name on Nintendo Switch if they haven't already set up a Microsoft account. The update at the moment is on the Bees update, so it's still a little bit behind the Java version which runs basically all the early stuff on PC and then it filters through to the rest of the versions. Hopefully that will all be coming soon, but yeah it's pretty up to date at the moment so it's got the latest Bees in the game. I honestly wondered what year it was today because it's about six years ago that I started doing some Minecraft content before I took a big break from doing YouTube again. That's crazy that I'm now doing more guides for it. So let me know what you think about the update. I'm going to show you guys how to get some free mods, but I'm not going to necessarily show you any actual in-game tutorials. It's pretty much you've seen it from other YouTubers and stuff like that. I'm sure you work it out. It is Minecraft, but there definitely are some big changes from the original version of the PS4 Minecraft. Any questions at all, pop them in the comments section, and hopefully I'll see you joining me on a bit of Minecraft on Mixer one day. Until then, laters, ratbags.